All right. Well, thank you guys so much for popping on. My name is Denise Walsh. I am a Black Diamond leader here with It Works. I have been on this journey for almost 10 years. So next month on, um, oh, I just looked it up too. I think it's April 13th. Yeah, April 13th is my 10 year anniversary. So if you are in the Grand Rapids area, we are doing a 10 year anniversary party throwing myself a party. <laughs> we are just going to do something at my office, bring a dish to pass, hang out, play games, and tell It Works memory stories. So you are all invited. Um, and we're going to do that on our normal team training, which is the third Monday of the month. So the 17th of April, if you're in the area, put it on your calendar because it's going to be, we just, you know, we always, there's always a reason to have a party. So, okay. Um, I also want to share before we get started, that um, I just made my protein dessert, which is like my new go-to bedtime snack. It's a scoop of shake, and then I can make it one of two ways. Just add a little either water or almond milk and stir it and fit pudding, or you put a teaspoon of baking powder or baking soda, baking powder, baking powder in it, and put it in the microwave. And it makes it more fluffy like a cake, and it's the most delicious dessert ever. So it still has calories, of course, under calories, but it's protein, and there's no, like, low carbs, and it's amazing. So anyway, that has made my life better. Um, but so today we are going to talk about parties, everything to do with parties, because uh, last week we talked about building your, your network and your leads list through social media. And if you go back to my YouTube channel, you'll see, you'll find that video and there's tons of great ideas from our top leaders on building your network through Facebook and social media. But today we're going to talk about parties because what I love about our business specifically is that you have an option. How do you want to build your team? How do you want to build your network? How do you want to, you know, build your client base? And I recommend doing a little bit of everything. Do some parties, do some one-on-one -on -one appointments, work your Facebook, work Instagram, decide what you love, like do some expos, you know, get your feet wet in a bunch of different arenas, decide what you love, and then, um, and then do it a lot. I mean, I, I know some people that will go to businesses and they'll say, talk to the HR, and they'll say, hey, I would love to offer a service for your business and do a lunch and learn where I can wrap people during their lunch hour and just have some samples out. I know people that work with gyms and chiropractors and massage therapists and they'll just kind of get out a book, you know, like yellow pages, or I don't know what they use these days, but you would call, just call them and say, hey, I've got a product that I think you would really connect with or that you would love, it would work good with what you already do. Um, can I come in for five minutes and give you some information? I mean, there's just so many ways to build this business that you will never get bored. But you will want to know how to do a party because you will want to know how to train your team to do a party. So even if you decide that you're not a party girl, you're going to still want to be able to learn, know how to do parties. So I recommend everybody doing at least a few yourself. So then you can work to launch any local distributors with that skill as well. So I say do it yourself. Don't get a host first because here's the deal. You know what a wrap is. A host may not have any idea what the heck you're talking about. Let's be honest. And so I've had people say things like, oh, do you mean like wrapping paper? Or, oh, do you mean like food wraps? And you're like, no, not at all. <laughs> so if it's a wrap that, you, I mean, you know what it is. And a lot of you have tried it yourself. So you can get people there based on your excitement alone. Take control over the invites. And often if it's a hostess, you don't have as much control over who's coming and all of that. Um, the other thing is you know where the scissors are. So you know where everything is in your home. You can be a bit more comfortable. If you forget something, you can go grab pens. You know, you, you can set it up. You just have got a bit more control in your own home. So I would recommend doing it yourself at first. If you have decided that you don't really want to do it at your own house, maybe you've got six kids under the age of five. I don't know. That would be crazy. But, um, you know, you've decided that that's you just, it's not going to happen at your own house. Do Panera, do Starbucks, because you can meet four people in a Starbucks 
wrap them in the bathroom and do the presentation right there around the table. I have done it a million times. No big deal. So uh, no excuses. The biggest thing is to get the wrap on people and make it happen. Um, I think one of the greatest things to, to, ask, like to ask your warm market, that your, your friends and family, is just to say something like, I need testimonies of people that I know. Can you come and try a product at my cost and give me your feedback? Um, I know my sister, she's so funny. Uh, my sister, Lisa, she lives in Charlotte and she didn't sign up until I went ambassador. And finally she was like, okay, tell me what you're doing. And she booked her party. And then she said, I invited people by saying, please come help me and let me practice on you. And I was like, Lisa, that's so boring. Like be more excited about it. <laughs> but what happened was it worked, you know, it worked because she was just, whatever it is, like just ask them and they'll come. She, she was like, I'll give you wine. Just come let me practice. And guess what? Her friends came, they wrapped, she got her customers, like it all works out. So super fun. Um, I'm going to, just so you guys know, I'm not green. I'm not detailed. I do not have like a PowerPoint slide based on how to have a party. I'm just going to go through what I do and some things to take note of, some things I've learned along the way. So take some notes. This is recorded and I'll post it on my YouTube channel afterwards. Um, but, and then we're going to have some popcorn tips from some leaders on the page as well. So here we go. And, and just so you know, I've got my phone blowing up over here, which means that people are calling me instead of going to Zoom. So if you've got people that are confused, they need to go to Zoom and not call me. All right. First things first, you want a sign-in sheet. Um, honestly, you can print some off from your e-suite or just get paper. You want a sign-in sheet with like a money jar. So when people come in, you want to kind of have a flow, right? So people come in, welcome to my party. I'm so glad you're here. If you're wearing a facial, it's even better. Seriously, wear a facial when you open the door. It immediately breaks the ice, you guys, because people are coming and they may be a little nervous. They're not quite sure what's going on. Have a facial on, um, have your hostess have a facial on, whatever. It's so fun. So open the door and you guide them to the welcome station. So the welcome station is where they are charged for the $25 or $30 wrap, where they write their name down. Um, we often will do a tummy wrap for $25, $30. You can do a facial wrap for $25. You can do a chin, chin for $10, or all three for $50. So tummy, facial, and chin. Um, you certainly can do a, we call it the total body makeover. Um, you can if you want to, if you've got people that want like more of a spa day. Certainly don't have to. I know a lot of parties where people don't wrap at all. They call it a sample party. And people come in, sign in. They just really go through the party pad presentation and do some samples and just keep it, keep it simple. So um, just know that you can kind of make it your own. You can wrap or not wrap, doesn't matter. But you want to get them signed in. And if they are going to wrap, you want to take that payment immediately. Whether it's just cash, make sure they come prepared. I've had people leave and go to an ATM because they didn't know they had to have cash. If they can have, like you can also get a square credit card thing, which just allows you to take credit cards. So that's another idea as well if you plan to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one appointments and parties. Um, so they come in and they pay. And you wanna do that immediately because afterwards they're gonna sign up as a customer or a distributor and you don't wanna be like, can I also have the 25 bucks in the wrap please? Like it's just a little awkward. So um, the other thing is you want other, you want your guests to know that you make money, you know? Like that money jar is a part of the selling feature for doing parties. You know, when you're talking about becoming a distributor, you're like, look at the cash I just made. You know, I just paid for my kit with you guys coming over. Like, this is not hard. Um, so the welcome station is important. Got that. Next, go to the wrapping station. So for me, this is typically in the bathroom. You can do it in a bedroom. I like bathrooms that don't have any windows because often at the beginning of the party, there's like sunlight and at the end of the party, there's no sunlight. So if you keep it in a room where there's no windows, then the lighting doesn't change and you can stand in the same spot before and after. You also want to, my phone, aw, I wonder if I should like change the number so it's not my phone number, if that would matter at all. I'm not sure. Um, the, 
when, what you wanna do. This is super cool and really easier than I expected you guys is to download the wrap app. You can see it. I have this little It Works folder. It's got Wired in it and it's got this wrap app. Have your guest download the wrap app. If they don't have room on your phone, no big deal. You can do it on your phone too. But when they download the wrap app, you can take pictures on their phone with um, their wrap app. It's gonna remind them to drink water. It's going to put the pictures side by side and then they can immediately submit the pictures to corporate for approval if it gets amazing. So, so the wrap app has really been cool. And again, it's, it's easier than I expected. Sometimes I thought it might be like bothersome or take a long time or whatever, but it really hasn't. So download the wrap app and you can use that for before and after pictures. The wrap room is really important, you guys, because you'll find um, that people will, like you'll say, all right, raise your shirt to your bra line, lower your pants to your hips, and relax your shoulders. No sucking in. Make it fun, easy, comfortable. And as soon as people lift up their shirt, they will start telling you their life story. Have you guys noticed this? It's like um, all of a sudden they're a bit vulnerable and they're like, Okay, so I've had three babies and this happened. I had a C-section and I, uh, you know, I mean, like there, I haven't pooped in three days. You know, I mean, you just never know what you're going to hear in the wrap room. But that's part of building the relationship. It's part of you being, you know, asking them questions and getting to know them on like a one-on-one -on -one level. So the wrap room is a place where you're building a friendship, where you are just, you know, you're being quick and easy, you're wrapping them, um, but you can ask them questions too, like, have you ever heard of the wrap before? Um, do you know anybody who's tried it? Do you know anybody who would want to try it? Have you ever thought about making extra money from home? Have you ever done a company like this before? Uh, there's questions you can ask them in the wrap room to build rapport, to get to know them, and that will help you guide the conversation later. One tip I have is that if you if they start asking questions like, what's in it? How does it work? How long do I wear it? Can I wrap my whole body? You know, like they're going to start asking you all these questions. Typically what I'll say is I will totally answer that out there because I bet there's people out there that have that same question. And I'll just really direct them to like, I'm not, I don't want to give the presentation eight times. So I'm going to just say, I'll totally tell, I'll answer that out there because I bet other people have it too. And usually they're fine with that. So you wrap them. You also can use, oh, I used my fab wrap. It used to be right there. Yeah, I, I, you can use your fab wrap to hold it in place or saran wrap or tight tank top. Like when I wear my wraps at home, I don't use fab wrap. I just like wear my yoga pants. Hi. <laughs> and I sleep in mine because that's easier. So it doesn't, the biggest thing is that it sticks to the skin. So the fab wrap isn't magical, the saran wrap isn't magical, it's just sticking to the skin so the lotion absorbs. One thing you don't wanna do is sweat while you're wearing the wrap because that pushes things out. You want it to absorb. So I've had people go for walks while they're wearing the wrap or go in saunas and things like that and that is not correct because you want it to absorb. So your job is to relax while you're wearing the wrap and drink your water. So I'll tell them that. I'll say, all right, you can put your shirt right back. Man, I'll get in the shower. Oh, I am me mute, everyone. Okay, so you put it right back down. If you have a question, I don't know if that was a question or not, but certainly do it in the, in the chat. Um, and so put your shirt back down and say, go relax, get some water, and we'll be out to do the presentation in just a minute. So you've got the welcome station, you've got the wrap station. Next is the presentation station. The presentation station is where I have all my goodies set up. So I'll have some greens, fat fighter, defining gel. Wow is a good one for parties because they can see it right there. If you wanna bring shake, you can. Um, I would honestly probably just do shake at your own house. I'm not gonna bring a blender. Certainly you can do just a shaker bottle if you want. Um, but keep it simple. I would, I would honestly focus on the system package, some of our top packages. So 
if you look at these, this is our product catalog. And I typically give a product catalog with a loyal customer form and a distributor form printed off and put inside. And then this is my presentation. So I'll give them this to go through, but this is basically when I get to the products, I'm going to have them start looking at these packages because first I'll do the wrap. Let me talk about how the wrap works. Next I'll do defining gel. Defining gel is the sister product to the wrap. I'll put a little bit on the back of their hands and have them put it on one arm. If you ever have anybody that says, I need a full body wrap, like head to toe, or I need to bathe in this stuff, that's defining gel. Refer them to defining gel. Um, I'll, we'll do a whole other product training at the end of this, so I'm not gonna like give you my whole presentation, but. Um, so I'll do the wrap, the defining gel, that's the wrap pack. Then I'll add the fat fighter, that's the skinny pack. And then I do the fat fighter demo. So the fat fighter demo is where you've got a glass of water, you put a little bit of vegetable oil, which means you probably need to bring your own because people don't have vegetable oil like they did 10 years ago. Um, I used to like expect they would have it and now they don't. So you wanna bring your own oil and um, crush up to fat fighter just with the pill crusher or the back of, the, of a spoon and you pour the crushed up fat fighter in the oil and it sucks it up and falls to the bottom and you talk about how the fat fighter is no longer going to be absorbed into, you know, your thighs. It's going to just come out naturally. <laughs> but it is white pants approved, so no colon issues, anything like that. So that's, again, the skinny pack. The skinny pack adds the fat fighter for like five or eight bucks. I think it might be eight bucks these days. And then the it pack adds the greens, which, again, you then talk about the greens, and they can do a green sample. And then the lifting lip and eye cream. So you can either do a demo with the lifting lip and eye cream, or you can talk about the wow and the facial line. Um, I do like talking about the system, but we don't really have any demos we can do with the thermal fit or cleanse, so it's not as fun. But, um, but I like giving them this too, because I've got a lot of before and after pictures of people using the system. So again, you can show them some before and after pictures. So I give them this and direct them to the packages when I get to the product part of the presentation. But basically guys, this is guiding your presentation. They are updating the party pad. I don't know how long that's gonna take them, but they are coming out with a new party pad in the next, I don't know, three months maybe? Um, Cammie's working on it right now and I'm really excited about it because I think she's gonna put some cool twists in it. But this is your presentation and if you go to, I pulled it up so I was ready, I think. I'm so excited because this is like so easy. I'll show you what I'm doing so you can find it too. Okay, so if you go to your e-suite underneath documents, and then party pad notes, download. So, ah, oh, did I like totally time out, darn it. Okay, so go to your e-suite, print off your party pad notes, and this is gonna guide every step of the party pad. Print this up, what the heck? It's, all right, well, I have it saved somewhere, but I'm not gonna take the time to, sh to find it. But if this is where it is. Hopefully it pops up on your computer. Um, the party pad notes, um, you just tape, honestly. So what I do is tape them right here, upside down, so that way I can read it. And once you do this over, you know, three or four times, you're going to memorize what's on the page and you can practice in front of your mirror, practice in front of your um, significant other. But basically you talk about the wrap. You can put it anywhere. You'll see results in 45 minutes. This is what it does. Read these bullet points. There's some other additional facts in the notes that will help you. And then this is where you can talk about our packages and do some of the product demos and then talk about our loyal customer program. 
But this is what I often say. Um, previous to this, I would start with my story and then say, well, that's enough about me. Let's talk about why you're here, which is that rap. And then when I get to here to transition to the business side, I would say, now a lot of you have been asking me, um, or I've heard there's several of you that are interested in making some extra money. So I'm going to spend a few minutes telling you how I got started in this business and why, you know, and how you can make at least $500 in your first few months um, really easily with our three simple plan, three simple step plan and go into the steps to success and how they can earn money too. Here you say, this is our average monthly income per distributor. So just take a look at this and see what would you like to add to your family's income each month? What would sound good to you? You know, what would, and what would you do with it? Allow them to dream a little bit. You can even go around and ask and get people to share. And then we just say, so what's your choice tonight? We are going to get you unwrapped and I'd love to either help you get started on the product as a customer or get started on the product and make some extra money as a distributor. And you know what? 10 years ago, I decided that I would rather say, oh, well, I tried than what if. And I can tell you if I hadn't done this 10 years ago, I would certainly have not had the experience if I had experiences I've had. Certainly, you know, I share a little bit about my story. Um, and then the clothes often happened in the wrap room. So you will then have them bring this back in there with you. And while you're unwrapping them, you can say, all right, so what products stood out to you? What are you interested in? Uh, are you thinking you wanna get started as a customer or a distributor? You wanna ask like assuming the sale type questions. Even if you're nervous, you guys, believe me, I took Confianza before parties, like for several years. <laughs> and the biggest thing is to just say it, even if you're a little nervous, because the more you say it, the more confident you will get. So you can just say, have you ever thought about being a customer or distributor or what products would you like? Or, you know, just have a few go-to questions that you, that you bring in. So a couple things with the clothes. If you have two people there, you know, if I'm launching a new distributor, there's usually two distributors there. One of us is unwrapping and one of us is circling the room, helping people fill out their forms. And, uh, because what happened is I would be in the wrap room and I'd be like, awesome. So it sounds like the skinny pack is going to be a perfect place for you, a perfect way for you to start. Um, why don't you go fill out the top of this form and I'll be back to check on you. And sometimes people would like sneak away. And so we decided we needed to have like a checkout spot. So sometimes that other person, um, when somebody's done with the rack room, they'll say, okay, come on over here. I'll help you get your order in. What are you looking for? And they can kind of sit down and go through that. Um, it really depends on if you've got more than one person, but uh, I have them fill out the form. I don't know if it's because I'm old school, but I have them fill out the form and then I put it in the computer myself just because I don't want to, I've done it before where I have a laptop and I put the, and it can just take a long time. So if all the people fill out the forms, they can do it at the same time and then you can put it in afterwards. Um, let me think. What other closing questions we've done? Oh, and then the next, you know, as you're talking to people, you can say, ooh, if you are thinking of just a few people that want to try the wrap too, consider hosting a party and I'll wrap you for free. Yeah, just get four people there. And some of my best parties are planned within three days because it's the excitement of what you experienced here that's going to get your friends there. Um, and so because people want to wrap again in three days, you know, they want to keep this, the process going. Even if they sign up as a customer, they'll sometimes plan a party three or four days out because they want to get that free wrap before their product comes. So don't forget about asking for more parties, asking for referrals. Um, if you don't know the people at the party, I would add them all to Facebook. And we do a cool game where we'll say, all right, everybody get out your phone post on Facebook and tag me and say, Hey, I'm getting my sexy back with Denise or, you know, 45 minutes until my big unveil, you know, just, you know, drip something. And then I'll say the person who, um, 
who gets the most likes or comments at the end of the party wins a free sample of greens, you know, something like that. But the goal then is that you are now in front of more people and they like some comments. You can be like, oh my gosh, you just had six people say they wanted to try a rep. You should become a rep. Like that's your kit paid for, you know? All right. I'm going to think I'm going to, I'm steal all your guys's tips. I know. So let me think if there's anything else on top of my head. Oh, someone asked if I give it to them. Okay. I do, but I collect them. People don't need these forever. That's why I give them this. So you can do two things. You can give them this and go through this and then give them this at the end of your presentation. Or you can give them this and just refer them to the product, like the, this page um, during the product side. What you don't want is for people to like be looking at this and then not really paying attention to you. So you'll, you can just kind of gauge it and practice and see what works for you. Um, another common question I get is, can I drink wine? And the answer is always, to, you know, yes, after you do the wrap. Because I want you to get the best results. So you can, I recommend that you drink water while you're wearing the wrap, but you can certainly have wine after if you want. Now, I'm gonna be honest. One of the reasons why I say that is because how many of you have done a party where they started drinking before you got there? <laughs> and I'm like, they don't listen. They like talk over you and giggle. <laughs> They're not paying attention. So I often say no to wine until after the wrap so they get the best results, but then also so they're like focused. Yeah, yeah. But, and the reason I don't say no, you guys, is because I want this to be fun and easy. And the more like restrictions we put on people, like you have to come showered and exfoliated and things like that, um, the, just more barriers to getting them to come and really check it out. So um, I try to keep it simple like that. So I know we've got several leaders in the, on the call um, that have tons of experience and I would love to give them a space to share some um, party tips. So if you have any specific questions, now is the time to write them in the comments. And if you have been brewing a party tip and you've been thinking of something as I've been talking, now is the time to unmute and share. Who wants to go first? Carla. Denise. I'll go first before someone takes mine. <laughs> um, so some things I do, I will um, take my cleanser with me and make them cleanse first in the bathroom before I wrap them. And then that way I know, number one, they're washed. They don't have to come clean. They don't have to come anything. And I don't have to tell them anything. There's no lotions, bury them. And then also they get the chance to try the cleanser. Um, I also take my peel, and if they're interested in the facials or the peels, I will have them cleanse their face as well, and then they can throw the peel on or something like that. So I really like taking that. And um, another thing, like you said, about using um, the old school paper method, same thing. I do the same thing because I've had the same issue, Ad iPad or Wi-Fi is not working or you know something like that. So it's always good to have that. And then, um, shoot, the third tip was... Um, oh, I never wrap anybody until I have cash in hand because you might know the hostess, but you don't know who is there and you could get it on someone and then they say, oh, well, I didn't know I had to pay or, you know, whatever. So whenever I always make an announcement at the very beginning, cause I don't do the, um, like check in cash in there because I feel like sometimes it gets confusing and people don't, oh, why well, put in and then they really didn't or whatever, and I don't really want the host to be in charge of my money. So what I will just say is, um, okay, so I'm gonna have everybody start coming back to the wrap room. When you come back, just bring your $25 with you. And then they come back to the wrap room and hand me the $25 and I put it in my jar. And so if they come back and they don't have it, I'll just say, hey, did you forget to bring your, or the 25 or whatever? And then I always just have it that way and it's taken care of and you know the money's done right then and there and no one says well you know I didn't know I had to pay so that's just what I do and it's found what works for me but good idea the money things always you know like oh I always had a hard time with that at first but yeah. I kind of worked it out this way and you know asking for cash and just that's you know some people are uncomfortable with that yeah and that's a good tip and especially if you're doing a party by yourself 
um, I would definitely recommend that. I'm often doing parties with other distributors, so um, one of us can be in charge of it, so then you kind of divide and conquer. Um, but one thing I'll, I'll add to that, sometimes we'll be like, can I have a sample? And I'm like, well, here's the deal. You're not getting a sample or like a part of the wrap. I don't say here's the deal, that's kind of rude. This is what I'll say. I'll say, actually, you know, we don't give you a part of the wrap, we actually give you the full treatment. So it is gonna be $25. Um, and you know, I don't, I don't want to give product away for free. And I'll tell you why. It's not even about me earning the cash anymore. It's about them purchasing it. Like for a new distributor, you want the wrap cash. You wanna pay for your kit. You want to have cash in your pocket. Like people have walked away from parties of 300 to $700 because they sold their wraps. Wrap cash is a huge part of, at the beginning, it's such a beautiful piece of our compensation plan because you can put that money back into your business and you can pay, you know, whatever, it's awesome. But for me, I do it more for the other person because psychologically, they will respect it more if they've paid for it. They will value the product more if they've paid for it. So I still make, even in my friends, you know, I had a girl from my Bible study buy four wraps from me and I was like, it's $25 a piece. And I could have easily just given her one, give her a full box. But for her benefit, I mean, she needs to pay for it so she can truly value them. And she'll think if I paid for it, others will too. Oh, another one I was thinking, Carla, when you mentioned was, if they want to wrap more body parts. So I've had people want to wrap their legs, wrap their arms. I mean, you can really get creative, wrap your chins. And typically what I recommend it as a party, I mean, you can wrap whatever you want. Um, I like to say, I love to demo tummies at parties because that's the easiest. And I've had people come wearing dresses and then they're like, can you please wrap my legs? And I'm like, Really? <laughs> but they want you to. So if you do wrap your legs, I'm just going to give you a tip, and I am you know, totally wearing my works pajamas. Um, have them put their leg on the toilet or something so you can wrap like this, and you're not like bent down, like wrapping around them. Put their leg up and wrap like that, and it's way easier. But I usually say I'd like to demo wraps or tummies at parties because that's the easiest, and that will get done the fastest. Um, and usually people are fine with that. You can totally do your butt at home. <laughs> I'm going to wrap your tummy. All right, Deb, I see you on here. I'm going to see what, what wrap party tips do you have? You mean me, right? I do. Okay. Um, so trying to think of something that other people haven't said yet. Um, I think, I think the, I'm like you, I hand out the, I, I hand out the catalog with the sheet, ordering sheets, and I tell them to make notes, I don't, I don't know if you said this or not, but I tell them to make notes or circle the items in the catalog as I'm talking. Because I'll say, I'll say, you know, I'm going to talk about a lot of things tonight and you're going to want a lot of it. And, you know, and I'm not here to take all your money tonight. And I'm going to tell you how you can, you know, try them, you know, try all you want without breaking the bank. So I'm kind of planting the seeds for a little customer program. And, you know, have them circle it in the catalog versus the, the sheet's kind of hard because they don't know what they're looking for and, you know, and, I'll draw their attention when I'm talking about the little customer program to the catalog again. And I'll say, you'll notice that there's two different prices here. And I'll use that, to, you know, cause of course everybody wants that less expensive price. So that's just a, another like level that I use the catalog at the party. Yeah. Great, great idea. Great tips. And I love that. Give them a pen and be like, and now I'm talking about this one. And now I'm talking about this one. Um, and I agree that this is a little bit easier to use than that one sheet because Fat Fighter is called Advanced Formula Fat Fighter, and no one can ever find it. <laughs> Someone, Cheyenne had a great comment in the chat. She said she doesn't call it a party, and I think that's, that's smart, too. Um, another thing you can do is just say, hey, do you want to book a wrap appointment? And they can come to your house, or you can meet at a Panera, and you can say, I'll give you $5 off for every friend you bring. And now you have a party. But it's just a wrap appointment. People don't think they need to like be prepared or, you know, 
like have food, none of that. Make, keep it simple. Another thing you can do is call it a sample. Do you want a sample? You can do a facial. You can do wine and wow. There's a lot of different kind of plays on it. A lot of times people will have a pro personal product of the month, so they'll contact their loyal customers or they'll contact their friends and they'll say, hey, you know, um, wow is the, my product of the month and any hostess that books a party for the month of April will get a free, you know, few samples of wow. Would you like to book one? Or, you know, you can use that as a way to get party books. Book, book party. Stacy says, be energetic. Yes, listen to Eye of the Tiger on your way to the party. Like, get pumped up. Um, and, and expect the best. Expect the best. I expect you to be nervous. If you were not nervous, you would be bored. Okay? It's like, if you're not nervous, then, like, you're like, oh, cool, just another party. <laughs> no big deal. So take that nervousness and turn it into excitement and energy and expect that every single person that comes, comes is becoming because they want to be there, you know? And they're going to purchase something because they're interested and they're excited and they want to learn. So that's why you're asking me, do you want to become a loyal customer or distributor? Which products do you want to purchase? When do you want to book your party? You're asking questions that, like, the answer is, you know, what we want. <laughs> it's not, do you want to sign up, yes or no. It's, do you want to be a customer or a distributor? Um, I also like the verbiage, $40 more. For $40 more, you'll have the rights to sell. So you might as well try it, if you, you know. Stacy likes to listen to ACDC. Does that age us at all? <laughs> Chelsea just booked a party. Yes. Awesome. All right. Who else wants to share a few tips? I see several of you rock stars on here. Tammy, Erica, Christy, your baby show hand jump. So Christy, I don't know if you can talk. How are you? I was unmuting. <laughs> Do you bring your children with you to parties? Um, I actually, I have. Um, in the beginning, I did a lot. Now, I kind of like, like it as my, I love partying. So, it's like my night out. So, I try not to. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've totally just tied the, I have a seven-year-old. Um, and she handed out catalogs. I mean, if it's, you know, puppy doesn't make it home in time, you can definitely make it happen. Um, my best tip, I don't know if you said it, I had screaming kids for a second there, but um, is sitting down like at a kitchen table or on the floor. And I learned that from you years ago, you know, because it takes the pressure off of you. It shows that it's duplicatable. So that's a really great tip, just sitting on the couch with them, on the floor with them, um, getting them very involved in your presentation. Um, even when you're doing the Fat Fighters demo, you know, saying, okay, what's your favorite cheap food? And asking them and kind of like Deb said I do the the catalog and I put a steps of success in there and an order form all our old school people um and I do highlight some of the things that I talk about with a highlighter because again advanced fat fighters it is harder for them to find and they're sitting there as you're talking trying to find things um so I do highlight the order form, but I put a step to success in there. And I do from the very beginning say, as I'm talking tonight, I want you guys to do me a favor and write down any names that you can think of that would be interested in any of the products tonight. And then that's your lead in for, Hey, you guys just got your four customers. Let me tell you a little bit about the business. And I do use the line, um, doggy brain guys, hold on. Um, what's the line? What's the line? Um, someone had asked me a little bit about the business. Do you guys mind if I share? No one could have asked about the business, but it makes it easier on you. It's a great transition line. As soon as you say someone asked, you know, I had a few people ask me about the business tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and go over that real fast. That's my line. Mm -hmm. Um, as soon as you say that people are looking at the person next to them going, Hmm, maybe I should be interested too. Mm -hmm. So it works every time for me. And then last but not least, try to turn your host into a distributor. You, you know, I know your goal is to get those loyal customers, but why not offer them 
those loyal customers, and now you have a qualified distributor. You just got a fast start bonus plus you made wrap cash. So um, always try to close your host. It's a very easy. I think that's one of the easiest ways to get distributors sometimes. So do you prime them beforehand? Your host? I do. I do. Um, and I don't go the pre-sell route. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, I just am a firm believer. And if they want to do this business, they're going to find that money. But I do go the party route. I do say, all right, if you don't have the money, let's host a party. Let's sell four wraps. Buy your kit with that. And then when your box of wraps comes in, it's mine. I take their credit card information and make sure that, you know, that way you don't ever have anybody that, you know, um, didn't give you their box of wraps. I just tell them I'm going to charge $100 on their, their card. So um, just years of experience. <laughs> but yeah, um, I do prime them right from the very beginning. But that's also a great way when people say I don't have the money, tell them to book a party or set a wrap appointment, invite four friends. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good tips. Good tips. One question I have for you guys, how do you invite people? Do you use a Facebook event? Do you um, text message call? What do you guys do to like, what's your, what's the best way to invite people? Anyone? I, do all of it, if I, will. I do um red stamp and I make a text invite. Um, red stamp. Tell me about this. It's just, um, it makes cute little invites. Um, I think it's still free. I've had it for a long time. Um, is it an it app? Makes, if you go to my page right now, there's actually one that I made. It is an app that it's really nice. Once you make one, all you got to do is just keep changing the address. Um, but I use red stamp and I said, Hey, text this invite out to your friends. They can also use that picture and post it on their Facebook. Um, I really go by the person. You don't want to set up a Facebook event for, for someone that's very rarely on Facebook. So, but I do all of it. I even had a lady the other day, she's already told me she has 12 people coming to this party. She's like, can you send me invitations that I can mail? I sent her some blitz cards, <laughs> you know, so go by the person is my best advice. And I just ask them, you know, what, what's your greatest Avenue? Do you need me to drop off some blitz cards to work so you can start talking about it? Um, Facebook invite, a text invite is really good. And then try to get them to post on Facebook. I say do all of it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. I just grew a brain cell. I've never heard of red stamp before. It's just, I mean, it's just a little, I get, I mean, uh, I think, I think it's for making invitations for anything, birthday parties. It's cute. It's oh. a cute little invite thing. Um, and like I said, it, it, once you make it once, then just make it like put a little bit of effort into making a really good one. And then all you do is just keep changing the time and the date. One thing I love, you guys, is we can utilize a Facebook event for a live, like a regular party, um, but don't invite people just through a Facebook event because do you know how many things we're invited to? I'm invited to things like all over the world in Australia and London that I will never attend, but they just invite their whole friends list. And so people don't notice. They don't see when they're invited to something. So what I'll do is I'll invite them with a text message, just like Christy said, and, and then, or a message typically on Facebook, because I don't have everyone's phone number, but I'll message them through Facebook and I'll say, hey, um, you know, I'm hosting a party for the It Works Wrap, so you're a sample party or whatever it is, and I'd love for you to be one of my guests. Um, are you able, you know, would you be able to come? And then when they say yes, I'll add them to the event. So then they have the address, the information, because how many of you don't know where you're going until you get in the car and you go, where's the party? <laughs> so you want to have it like, I like to have that as a place for people to go reference when it's time to come, but that's not the invitation tool. So having another way to invite them and make sure they know about it. The other thing is you don't want to mass invite. Because how many of us have been in like a email that has 30 people or a message that has 30, 50 people on it? Like, Hey, I'm doing a party. And everyone's like, um, leave group, leave group, leave group. <laughs> because nobody feels important. Nobody feels special. So when you do a person, like I'm inviting you to my launch party because I specifically thought of you, like that makes people more apt to go. It's important that I come and support her. So be really personal about that invite. Any other tips, either about the invitation or any other party tips from you seasoned girls? Hey, Denise, just really quick. I'm going to jump off here. Um, 
I was thinking the same thing that um, I can't remember if it was Carrie or Stacy said, but one bag in and one out bag out. Like I know you want to do like the balloons and all this and that because it's your new business and you're launching and it's so exciting, but don't do it because, and we all know this because I mean, us veterans, I should say, know this because it's not duplicatable. Mm -hmm. So when people come into your house, they're going to see the spread of all this food and all these balloons and all these posters and all these things you made. And they're like, I can't do that. I don't want to do that. I don't have time to do that. And so one bag in, one bag out. You don't need food. You don't need, if you're going to, a little veggie tray. I mean, like you don't need all that stuff. I tell my hostess this. It's the easiest party to host. You need water. It's an hour. Like literally, that's it. So, you know, people go into more stuff and if they do, then insist, I say, okay, keep it healthy, veggies, fruit tray, whatever, but don't go into getting into all this stuff. It's not going to make you money and it's not duplicatable. Absolutely. The thing is, is you guys have to think if your third grader can do it, then do it. But if it's too hard, then people are going to go, that's too much. I don't have time for that. So you want to keep it as simple as possible. Um, Carrie's mentioned in the chats before and after pictures. Print off before and after pictures. Put them in a book. Um, I recommend printing off the, the product info sheets with the ingredients. Just have like a party book that has all that stuff. I keep my party bag like it's all right, almost always ready to go. You know, you've got things printed off. I just leave. And for those that have been in another company, you know how amazing that is because you can like spend hours getting ready for the party to actually go to the party. We like go, oh, I have a party in like half an hour. I should probably go, you know, and we head out. Um, the other thing is include some magazines. Include some magazines because, again, pe people want to connect with stories. Um, and you now know someone in it. Let me see what page I'm on. Let me see who else is in here that we know. Barbara Bozer is in here. Barb Hauser is on our team. She's in here. Um, we've got several people on our team in this magazine, and it just – the idea is that it show it just tells stories of normal, regular people who got excited about something, stayed focused, and um, got results. I should know my page number. 22. Here we go. I have to say one real thing. Okay, we spent like stinking two hours taking pictures with our children. We brought my mom, so that way my kids were in the, we got new clothes for them, and they did not make the magazine. Isn't that a bummer? Like all that effort. What the heck? Anyway, side note. Okay, yeah, you can say my friend Denise is in here. Ooh, Ashley has a good question. Um, I do have an app that I use to mass text, but it looks like it's an individual text, and it's called Mighty Text, and it's only for Android. But I got Android and will not go back to iPhone because this has saved my life. Like it's so, I mean, I can text 25 new distributors and be like, hey girl, how are you thinking about you? Did you have a chance to look through eSuite yet? Or do you have any questions for me? Or, you know, whatever. And be like, done, you know, next. Um, so definitely. Denise, I'm the same. I've kept my Android for the same reason. I but know. I Thank you <laughs> for validating. Oh, totally. I was going to add that whenever I go to a party, um, as far as set up, somebody has said they're 15 minutes, I literally arrive five minutes before. And what I do with those five minutes is I put a wrap on the host. Yes. And I try to go in a wrap. Like I'll have something wrapped. Usually, I guess, usually my tummy. Um, but I like to wear, I want like, if there's two of us there in a wrap, it's going to encourage pe people to wrap, other people to wrap more than just one person wrap. So I have a wrap on, I put a, the host in a wrap, a face if I can. Denise and a tummy wrap yeah. um, and then, you know, have her answer the door that way. And the other thing I put in the notes is that I love to get at the kitchen table if I can, because that just feels more like girlfriends sitting around having a glass of wine or, you know, it just keeps it really informal than sitting around the living room, everybody like in a circle. If I can get to the kitchen table, I will. Mm -hmm. And then if I can't, you know, wherever the host wants to do it, but I just, I just love the informalness of that kitchen table. And it seems like we just, friends quicker yeah I love that I had a party here um, last year I invited all of Owens I like made all these new friends because now Owens in kindergarten you guys I've got like a whole school district 
at my fingertips that I like need to be the wrap girl for. So I did a party here and I planned to do it in the living room. Like that's where I normally do it. But we all sat around my kitchen island and we just sat around the island. There was like four of us there and I got a you know good side island with bar stools or whatever. And we just did that and talked and hung out and it was cool. All right, we've got a few more minutes left. Anybody have any other tips brewing? I'm looking to see who's on here. Tammy, Erica. Um... Hey, Denise. Hey, oh, this is this Erica? Yeah. Hello. Hi. I was, I'm learning a lot because um, the parties were not, my, they're not my strong suit yet. I'm working on them. But one thing that I did learn right away is that you can't be afraid to just ask them, like, are you going to, like, you know, you don't say, so what are you going to do? But, you know, basically, so do you want to make money while you try the products or do you just want to try the products at a discount? Because my first few parties, I didn't do that and it was like awkward and it's like okay what do I do and you know a couple of people ordered but I know I knew that's where I had dropped the ball and I did have to learn that the hard way so now I'm now I do that but um, everybody gave really good tips I, I'm learning a lot from it yeah uh, Deb mentioned people want to be led I totally agree Erica we want to make it easy for them to say yes we want to make it easy. And if you say, go to my website, guess what? They're not going to go to your website because guess that's like, number one, they have to remember your website. Number two, they have to make an effort to go. And number three, they have to figure it out. And um, Carlos has actually, I'll use him as an example because he has this like liver cleanse with essential oils that he recommends. And I totally would have bought it three years ago if he said, hey, do you want this? And, yeah. And he, uh, he, you know, he dripped. But, and then he said, hey, you should do this. But like, I don't want to have to figure anything out. Do it for me. <laughs> so yeah, we want to make it easy for them to say yes. So we want to make it easy for them to just kind of sign on the dotted line. Exactly. Good tip, Erica. Tammy, go ahead. Oh, we do not hear you. There you go. Now I hear you. Can you hear me okay? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if anybody had mentioned this already, but um, I always have order forms with me. And a perfect example is I had a distributor tell me that Friday she didn't take any of them with her, and, with her and her app was not working and she was not able to sign up anybody and now she's having problems closing on them. So I always have that with me. And the other thing, all the other tips you guys have said, they're all great. Like I just try to keep it short, simple. I try to get in and out because um, I want them to see the simplicity of it. But most importantly for me is I always wrap people in a private room because that's where I can talk to them and figure out exactly what they want. I feel most people don't say in front of other people what it is that they want. And for my party pad, I always talk about my favorite three or four products and that's it. And I'm a big skinny packing greens person because that's what I use. So <laughs> I just, I think whatever you're passionate about is what you should go towards and then just, you know, assume the sale before you even show up. And then just, you know, even people who are not ready today, I ask them, that's okay. Just fill out the form and predate it to the date you want it. And I'll run your credit card on that day. Awesome. Awesome. So did you guys hear that? They might not. One of the things that I've learned is that people say no, even if they want it, but they just are embarrassed that they might not be able to process it immediately. So if they say no, then maybe even say, well, is there a better day to run it? Was there a better day to place your order? And then you don't have to say, so you can't get it right now because you have no money. Like you want to submit it nicer than that. So you're like, is there a better day to place your order? And then just do what Tammy said, fill out that form and put the date on it. And then on that day, I'll text them and I'll say, hey girl, I'm so excited to get you your wrap order in. Um, is, still is today still a good day to process it? And just double check because of course you wanna be respectful and then place their order for them. But yeah, good tip.
All right. Well, thank you guys. I know there's probably several of you that have some things to add. Please share on um, your team pages, your aha moments from tonight or any other party tips that you um, want to add. We all want to learn from each other. This will be up on my YouTube channel for a link recording if you want to use it down the line. Um, but I am excited to see you take your business and move it from your head to your heart and to your feet. Get stuff on the calendar, book your parties, book your one-on-one -on -one appointments, use the party pad to build your business and keep it simple and duplicatable because it is working. So it might as well be you. Bye guys. Love you.